Secure the building. Secure the building. Move in! Come, 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 come! Safety's on, dipshit. Hey, old man. Was Raul Menendez here today? Sergeant Woods! Raul Menendez is the leader of Cortes Dia. And the most dangerous terrorist since Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Fucking waste of time. Guy's a vegetable. Back off! All he said was, mi hermana. That Spanish for sister dipshit. You boys better get your shit together. He's gonna attack. If you have information about a threat to national security, you gotta tell us. Turn the camera on. Your old man. He's doing okay in Alaska. Fucking Hudson showed up. Dad, I'm scared. I, I need help. You're seven years old, David. Stop acting like a baby. David, wait! Go back to the army. Like you did when Mom died. Lieutenant Colonel North, NSC. You already know Jason Hudson. What are you doing here? Yesterday, Sergeant Woods led a covert team to take out an arms smuggling ring in Angola. This morning, we lost contact. So go get him, CIA. Why are you here? Castro and the Russians are all over Angola. We can't go in. The CIA have buried the mission. Woods and his squad no longer exist. We got whatever you need, Mason. Name it. David can stay with Jenny, like before. She loves having him. He'll be fine. Dad, you said you'd never go back to the army. You promised me. It's Uncle Woods, son. He'd do it for me. They found where I was being held prisoner with a spy satellite. One of them KH-9s. This baby, it shits out of film canners at 12 miles up. And a C-130 comes by, snags it at about 30,000 feet. This was not the digital age. This film had to be processed, analyzed, and delivered all by hand. Our dog in the fight. This guy named Jonas Savimbi. <laughs> you think I'm fucking nuts? Not this guy. <laughs> I was MIA and uh. But your old man thought I was dead. After all that shit Kravchenko did to him. The numbers, Reznov, he stuck in his head. He had no idea it was real. How the fuck could he? Kravchenko, when I sliced that bastard open, he saved everyone's ass. When he comes to first, boom. Welcome to the Hanoi Hilton. Six months later, they shipped me over to Da Nang. And this fucking place made the Hilton look good. Plus 17 of my group. By 72, it was just me. I was not gonna die in a fucking swamp! That's how it started. Her old man tries to kill Menendez. Menendez wants payback. Even if it takes decades. Menendez, back then, was a, uh, a big fish in a small pond. He made his cake on the drug cartel out of Nicaragua. There's a hand-me-down. Mm -hmm. The CIA smoked his old man. Old Cyclops is pretty pissed at America. 
While we're fucking around in the Middle East, the Russians and the Chinese are getting real cozy. Huh. Now, the politicians, they want you to think this is about ideology. It's a lot of horse shit. Give me your phone. Go ahead. Rare Earth Elements. Whole fucking world runs on this shit. <laughs> Who controls all of it? China. So while corporate America is kissing China's ass... Now the mysterious Cortis Diaz social network has crowdsourced simultaneous protests in both Iran and North Korea. Never seen in public, who really is the leader of Cortis Diaz? He's known only as Odysseus. Odysseus? My ass. <laughs> Raul fucking Menendez. Asshole. I told JSOC, but they were too busy. See, the drone race had started. I mean, really, guys? You're gonna build an entire military based on a mineral element that's wholly controlled by China? I need a drink. Dipshit! No, oh, God. Give me a soda. Get it from the nurse's stash. Not that diet crap. China's Premier Chen is outraged by Cortez Diaz's leaked memo, alleging the cyber attack was covertly ordered by the White House. And through all the dirty shit the U.S. government's gotten away with, this time, they're innocent, and no one fucking believes them. They take out Cortez Diaz's network. Two days later, the director of the FBI burned alive. Right now, a billion people believe that Raul Menendez is their savior. Shh. Guess what, boys? He's not. You better take him out pretty fucking quick. That shit's gonna happen. Figure out Menendez without getting inside his fucking head. Salazar, you grew up in Nicaragua during his rise to power. You know his legends better than anyone. Tell me, why does he hate us so much? Tu primera guerra fría. As a boy, he witnessed the country's rape and murder his people. In 1972, there was a colossal earthquake. His family lost everything. A year later, the only thing he ever loved his sister Josefina was crippled in a fire. Raul and his father started over, sold drugs for easy money. They became rich, powerful legends of Managua. The Menendez cartel was all but untouchable. So the CIA took out Raul's father in a U.S. sanctioned assassination. Right, so now Menendez fucking hated America and started running guns in Afghanistan for his own private army. The CIA got wind of it, went on the hunt for him in Kabul. That was the photo Wood showed us in the vault, remember? See that handsome bastard? That's me. The only one's your father. After Nam. The numbers and all that? I mean, he was one dangerous son of a bitch. <laughs> Bet your ass he was. Kravchenko basically carved a hole in his head. He shoved those fucking numbers in there, and he survived that. No. They just say they didn't see those numbers anymore, but I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. So, in a desert buried to here, who does your father think rides up on a horse to save us? Tricky Vic. Yeah, see? You're just like your old man. No, it wasn't him. That's not. Come on, if you think it was him, don't you think he would have stuck around for a bit, huh? Maybe explain some shit? What took you so long? Oh! <laughs> so the boss is back in town. Now go get that fuck Menendez. He blames your dad for killing your sister. He also blames Woods. And now he's coming for you. I think Menendez is going down. I keep seeing these flashes. The night my father died when I was a kid. Why now? Oh, fuck it. I just didn't hit you hard enough. All right, look, Woods gave us all the pieces. We just gotta put them together. Menendez was in Nicaragua. Got that from Kravchenko. 
He's being offered up on a silver platter by old Pineapple Face himself, Manuel Noriega. One of the perks of being the president of Panama is that you get to use the army as your own private police force. So, CIA, in their infinite wisdom, they sign off on the deal. The White House, they cut a check for a million bucks and everybody takes a victory lap. And off we go to the jungle. What we did in Nicaragua, that's an accident. We don't target civilians. Died in the blast? Who threw the grenade? I had no idea she was there, David. I just saw him in that text and I lost my shit. Frank, you don't lose your shit. What the fuck did Menendez do to you in Angola? Man, does he? He wanted to know what the CIA had on him. Tortured my men in front of me. Thought I'd break. One by one, I watched my team die. Then he dumped us in a tin can and locked the door. Left me in there for weeks. So, yeah, the next time I saw Menendez, I lost my shit. What the fuck would you do? For the body. And now he's back. He's pretty pissed off, too. They sure can't kill my old man. Somebody already beat him to it. But he could have killed you. So why are you still alive, Frank? Now it begins. I'm done talking. Go find that maniac. Known only as DeFalco, our undercover operative shot this off of Sakultra Island, Yemen. Free. Thank you, Admiral. DeFalco is Menendez's number two. The concept of empathy is understood by him, but irrelevant. A whisper drone captured this two days ago at an abandoned prison in Lahore, Pakistan. We lost uh, contact with a reconnaissance drone over Pakistan just last week. Wait a minute. The scientists we captured at Myanmar told us Menendez is using Solarium to develop a cyber weapon called Karma. What if it's Karma taking out our drones? You know what? This DeFalco guy could be fairly entertaining. Fairly? What do you say we blow off a little steam, huh? Throw a few punches first. Ooh. You got it. Come on, go suffer with me. What did you just say? Come suffer what? These flashes. I'm getting. Die. I know I was kidnapped the night my father died, but I I'd never see. It was Menendez. Did he kill my father? Okay, look, you know Woods raised me after my father died, right? But Woods always told me it was just some nut who did it, some drifter. What the hell's going on? You suffer with me for all the sins of those who came before you. Why didn't Woods tell me? Woods, Watson, they created this. For Josefina. Tonight your father will die! Asegúrate que toda la inteligencia relacionada al drone esté disponible antes de nuestra próxima discusión. China would pay billions to get their hands on this drone. Buen fortuna de Falco. Good karma. The cyber weapon. Wait, there. Right there. You see that? Cross-reference image with active U.S. corporate logos. No matches. Cross-reference worldwide. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's Colossus. Karma weapons on a floating city. That's how they got so close to the mainland. Salazar, prep a covert response team ready to go in 60 minutes. And form Admiral Briggs. We're getting really close to Menendez. To get the upper hand, I've got to get some answers from the horse's mouth. I'm going to see Woods at the vault. First things first. Karma. I 
to guide you, kid. You're okay. Well, it took you so long, so I think you weren't gonna make it. What the fuck was I doing there? The dead don't suffer. That's why you and I are still here. You suffer with me. Got a plan for you, kid. He's been working it for 30 years, and he is counting on you coming after him. Wait a minute. Frank, do you have intel? Remember that pendant? It disappeared. Why do you think? Just sprouted legs and walked away? This guy, he knows every angle, every move you're gonna make. He's gonna take out 20 or 30 million people. And... As if that's gonna bring her back. It's about his sister. He killed my father. To get to you. There's a clean shot with that guy. Hey! What the fuck happened in Panama? I was pretty sure we got him in Nicaragua. About a year later, he shows up in Panama with that piece of shit Noriega. That's the last straw for the CIA. The orders come down from George H.W. for a snatch and grab. So your dad and I, we go in. What a shit show. Planning good. The only piece that didn't fit was Hudson on the Con Lake running the show. Just felt off, even on the way in. Like if I felt it. You know, it's gnawing at me. I just, just didn't look at it. Mission was snatch and grab. The fucking Hudson gets on the radio. Says that Noriega is not the mission. It's a handoff. It's a prisoner swap. And right fucking then I should have known. Like right then and there. I should have known right then and there. Like what the fuck is wrong with me? What the fuck? Just take it easy, man. Just take it easy. Fucking Hudson. I should have smoked him and Nam. Did he go out like a soldier? Don't you tell me that fat fucking slob took him out. Don't you tell me that. You didn't go down like that, kid. There he goes a puppet. We're all just puppets. But I never question motives. You take care of your unit. You get your guys home safe. Roger that, Frank. That's not how it is. It's fucked. I'm a soldier. I take orders, and I get shit done. What are you looking so smug about? The fuck is going on? What's going on here? No. 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 Mason! Fool. You bastard! Menendez! Do you understand why? He was going to kill David. Because you must suffer, as I have suffered. Now one more must die. You, Woods, or David. Make a decision now, or in ten seconds you're all dead. Woods, I can't. I have two kids. They... Fuck! Okay, me! Do it! Do it! Oh! 
Your life will be consumed by absolute loss. Then and only then will you understand what you have done to me. I will not kill you, boy. Not like Woods. You will suffer with me. And then one day, you will see this pendant again. Hmm? And you will remember everything you saw and felt tonight. You will remember all the years of anger and pain. And when you do, David, please come to me. There's nothing you could have done, Frank. It wasn't your fault. Me and your old man. We were the best. And we still couldn't stop him. The times have changed, old man. He's going down. What do you got? Ah, oh, some piece of piss, this solarium. Oh, that was bells to buggery. Hang on, mate. Bingo. <laughs> Some tosser left the back door open. <laughs> Menendez's network. All the country's getting fucked with the new Cold War. Wait a minute. New York. D.C., the Pentagon. Shanghai, Beijing. Hong Kong. Menendez is going to attack America and China, taking out both superpowers at the same time. Hold on. All those files have the same prefix, 61961. 619. Oh, my God. June 19th. That's... That's tomorrow. Junio 19. Freedom Day. The abolition of slavery. Son of a bitch. Give me breaks. Admiral, the cyber attack is 619 tomorrow. We have to move on Yemen no, right no, away. No. no, you have to go in there, capture Menendez for interrogation. It's, it's, you, you contact Reed and the Yemeni militia. We need their help. Admiral, it's a trap. Menendez has been playing us the whole time. If we move on Yemen, that's exactly what he wants us to do. And you get your team together. You got two hours. He's just a sad old man talking to himself. Let him talk.
ready to launch him, my command. If Russia or SDC gets any bright ideas, make no mistake, Secretary Petraeus. Your armed forces are ready. The last order to DEVCON 3 was given by Secretary Rumsfeld almost 25 years ago. I know. I flew a patrol myself that day. Sir. President Bosworth sends her regards. To those souls who have toiled and wrought and thought with me, some work of noble note may yet be done. Get this cocksucker off my flight deck. Gladly, sir. Raul Menendez launched the drone attacks against your cities. The United States has nothing to gain by invading China. We're all pawns of Raul Menendez. Thousands of American drones are heading for our capital cities. Show weapons, Madam President. Madam President, the SEAL commander who captured Menendez requested to head up your security detail. He's our best authority on Menendez. And he still believes you may be a target. Sir, we have activity on the ground. Multiple hostiles. Oh my god. Drones. They're changing course. Los Angeles. I knew it was too easy to crack this Illyrium drive. He's targeting the president. Marine One is under attack! Go to ground! Alert the MRAP for immediate pickup! President, are you okay? Yeah, 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 I'm you sure. Okay. Yeah. He backed the president to prom night. Yeah. President, we now know how Menendez pulled it off. It's now clear that Menendez intended to be captured and brought to the Obama in order to execute his attack. Trojan horse. Odysseus. He used a Solarium device to infect our internal servers with a virus, compromising our entire military satellite infrastructure. The bad news is, the drones are still his. He's piggybacking on communication satellites all over the world. What are our options? Well, there is some good news. We've traced the source of the signals. Haiti! JSOC's in the sky right now. In T-minus 10 minutes, we'll be boots on the ground. How long before the drones get to the other cities? At the current rate and trajectory, approximately T-minus 10. Oh my god, what about China? Well, all diplomatic contact has ceased. But as you can see, Beijing, Shanghai, and Hong Kong, they're in as much danger as we are. Is this it? Is this the end? Madam President, may God help us. It's a Solarium worm, mate. Same twat that copped the drones. There's knackered power stations all over the East Coast. How long will it take you to stop it? I've spent the last year trying to crack this sod. Best thing I can do right now is leg it back to England. You know, we invited Raul Menendez to be here on the show tonight, but uh, he had other plans. Something about an animal.
Secure him. What happened to the lights? What the fuck? Security. Rise and shine, Woods. That's an entrance. Sir, I think you weren't gonna make it. Yeah. Been waiting for this. She survived the fire. For me. I didn't leave her. from that.